You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Russell Wilson. The other day I did a video. James Palmer said he reached out to a number of NFL teams and that were quarterback needy or suspected to be in the quarterback market. And they pushed back on Russell Wilson. They said they had absolutely no interest. And this was as the Steelers news was starting to emerge. So I combined those videos. And so now we got some details on how that meeting went. We also learned over the last couple of days that, well, James Palmer's report, hey, you're not going to get them all right because there are more than just... We have found out one team interested in Russell Wilson, much to Russell Wilson fans' joy, I guess. Um, Again, I don't hate Russell Wilson, you know? I mean, considering he's going to have offset language, it's going to be like a a little over a million dollars to have him as my quarterback, or at least on the team. I'd be interested in Russell Wilson. I'm not interested at $40 a year. No way. So... Uh, let's get, we're going to find out exactly how this visit went, and it seems like it went relatively well for Russell Wilson. Josina Anderson heard Russell Wilson had a great meeting in Pittsburgh so far. I was told he sat with Steelers OC Arthur Smith for, quote, hours, and that he looked happy. I was also told Wilson did his homework reaching out to some players in advance per his source. Mike Tomlin moves like the GN lasagna, so we'll have we'll see how much carryover there is after RW retreats to his quarters. I don't know what that the lasagna thing means, but it sounds like it went pretty well for Russell Wilson. A little bit more here. Wilson came to Pittsburgh following a visit with the New York Giants, and that that news broke literally right after I put that other video out. But we got another team in the mix, and it was a team that we said for a while we thought would be interested, but uh, Antonio Pierce had come out with the Raiders and said that they weren't looking for a Band-Aid situation, and that has now been sort of shot down. Because uh, here we are, Adam Schefter, Steelers and Giants either have met are our meeting with Russell Wilson. There are expected to be more, including possibly the Raiders per sources. So that's that's interesting, but is your sources uh, the the agent of you know Russell Wilson possibly? That's you always want to see uh, make it seem like there's as many different teams involved, so maybe you can get a team that might have been borderline interested to jump in and at least talk to him. It makes me wonder, because nobody saw the Giants coming necessarily, even though I think it's a great idea for the Giants. Uh, If I was the Giants, I would be all in on that. And Russell Wilson makes a lot of sense. Uh, Of course, that report came out that, uh, and this is it right here, that the Giants are done with Daniel Jones. NFL insider Connor Hughes of uh, SNY essentially confirmed that NFL Network personality Rich Eisen was spot on when he said Eisen shared earlier this week that general manager Joe Shine is, quote, absolutely done with starting quarterback Daniel Jones. Jones will be on the roster in 2024. Quote, he'll likely be the Giants' week one starter. He won't be with them in 2025 and beyond, though. And look, they're thinking about that contract that Daniel Jones has got, but if they can get Russell Wilson for a million bucks, yeah, why not bring him in? I mean, let's be honest. Uh, Russell Wilson right here, he's right in that group. that and This is PFF, their QB rankings for the end of the year. But he's in that Derek Carr, Baker Mayfield, Justin Fields, Joe Flacco kind of kind of area right there Uh, Joe Burrow is way up here somewhere but he was injured and it sort of came back to haunt him on some of these ranks now this is a photo right here of Russell Wilson at Newark after he met with the Giants and before he flew 
to the Steelers. So question is, uh, how is this going to go? Who's going to blink first? Are the Raiders even going to get to meet with Russell Wilson? I would assume there would be some attractiveness with the idea that they could, that he could play Sean Payton and the Broncos twice next year. That would be interesting. Though it has been reported that Wilson is a big fan of Mike Tomlin and there could be a solid schematic fit with O.C. Smith's system, it's still reasonable to assume that Wilson would expect standing as a presumed starter in any offense he would choose to sign with. In turn, that would probably mean that if he were willing to sign Wilson, the Steelers would officially dethrone Kenny Pickett as their starting QB, even amidst the many reports that the organization still believes in him. Though Wilson's trade market was non-existent thanks to the deal he had in place with the Broncos, it does seem that there's enough interest in the veteran to project him as a starter for some team in 2024. Yeah, and I've said from the beginning, I think he's going to end up starting for somebody in the NFL. Uh, But I think the Raiders getting involved, I I said, you're going to look at all the usual suspects. Pay attention to the Vikings, too. Uh, Because if they lose Kirk Cousins, if Kirk Cousins gets away, I think Russell Wilson makes some sense in Minnesota as well. Uh, I know they've talked about Zach Wilson. Wait, what? Why? Uh, I I don't quite get that. I'd take Mac Jones any day of the week and twice on Sunday or Russell Wilson long before Zach Wilson. There's been talk there about Sam Darnold as well. Well, if you do that, there's a chance you're just, you know, throwing in the towel before the season even begins. Now, Minnesota may end up drafting a quarterback. That's certainly possible, too. Um If I had to go with gut feelings, and again, when he was benched, we knew that was the end of the road for Russell Wilson with Denver. I said then, the Steelers make a lot of sense. That was before they even hired Arthur Smith. Now, the fly in the ointment for Russell Wilson is going to be whether or not they decide, or Arthur Smith goes to Tomlin and decides, well, look, I already know what Ryan Tannehill is. He's already played for me in Tennessee. I think he can run this offense as well as Wilson or better because he knows, and they're both about the same age. So is he able to say, sell Mike Tomlin on Ryan Tannehill over Russell Wilson? I don't know. But I do believe that the Steelers and probably the Raiders and probably the Giants would make a ton of sense for Russell. I love him to the Giants, to be honest. Uh, The Giants are not interesting. They're borderline boring. And I think Russell Wilson with the Giants makes that team really interesting. Now, they're kind of like the Patriots, and they're kind of like the Panthers. Uh, They're devoid of talent on the offense. They really are. So... You know, they've got to probably lay out some kind of a plan for Russell Wilson because, look, the Raiders and the Steelers both have real weapons. You know, George Pickens, Deontay Johnson, Jalen Warren, Najee Harris, Pat Fryermuth on the Steelers, Devontae Adams, you know, uh, Jacoby Myers, and he's a real thing. You know, Jacoby's a hell of a player. You know, uh, they got Michael Mayer at tight end. He's going to be a star. The Raiders have real weapons. So I would think Russell would be more attracted to the Raiders or the Steelers over the Giants. But maybe the Giants are willing to pay a hair bit more. I don't know. Either way, I like the fit with any of these teams because of the money and the lack of it to get him on the team. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.